Caught a cat in the, bro in the brush pile set I showed you. Um, the one that took the pine and stuck it all up in and stuff. Uh, and if you remember, we set on the outside of that so that we'd catch them if they didn't fully come in. And as you can see, that method works really good. I'm going to dispatch this cat and, uh, and do the rematch. Your first, your first inclination is going to be to rebuild the cubby. All right. The first time when we built the cubby, what we did was, if we built the cubby, then we set the trap in the right spot. If we rebuild the cubby, it's not going to be exactly the same as it was before. I'm going to reset my trap and then build the cubby accordingly where I want it to be according to the trap. It's important with the trap placement to have it in the right place. So if we got if we're anchored down here and we build it too far back, that's no good. If we build it too close, it's no good. So. I'm not sure why every morning. Uh, I guess I got to remember to wear my knee pads after I kneel down the first couple spots. I'll remember to put them on. Because I don't remember until I start kneeling in the rocks. All right, so. Better trap. And push the, the hole in on itself. Just help get it started up. Take a little stick, put it right there. Put it right underneath the jaw, sturdy that thing up. There we go. We got no movement. Down cover. All right, with well, them bridger one and a half special, remember that them pans. One and a half pan uh, trap hand covers do not cover the whole thing. Um, so I pull it to the back side, the loose jaw side, because that's where that pan's got to fire down from. The other thing is, I was watching a f Facebook or YouTube last night a video about peat moss. I use peat moss by using with trap pan covers or wax paper or whatever you want to use. I w tried the theory where everybody said, uh, yeah, if you don't have to use anything if you use peat moss. Bull crap. I had uh, peat moss get on underneath my pan many multiple times in, in one check period, and the, the pan is all the way down to the peat moss underneath the pan. It, it just makes sense. If anything can get underneath of the pan the, to obstruct it from going down, if you get enough of it underneath there, it's not going to fire. No, don't do that. If you want to do it, go try it, and then, uh, you know, I see the convention, you can tell me I was right then. Because I know for a fact that that happens, because that happened to me. Got some dirt up here. Want the pan to be our low spot, right? So, there we go. We'll put a little stick here. Guard that dog. Want to guard the loose jaw. All right, so I'm gonna take this.
put my corner piece down and then you just start stacking it if you get it all done it's too far back or too close just shift it back or forth back best you can I've had them where I tore them all back down and redid it I'm not gonna put you through that <laughs> I'm gonna try and get it right the first time So this is where you want to keep the gap right here this is gonna be it Sometimes what I'll do, I'll get that, take a stick and like this, prop up that. There we go. All right, we got a good gap there. Put our lower baits back in. We're gonna work the front just like this time. I want this block down just like we did last time. Where the, their only opportunity is to come right where we want them to come. Don't give them no choices. Just like this, right into the cubby. Bam. Shazam, they're caught. I didn't think I'd like this one as much as I did the first one where we had the pretty sticking up. <laughs> but uh, I do, it. good looking cubby. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. It's a great cubby. I'm gonna put our stop stick there, right here in the front. Stop them from stepping onto the up, taking one final step up. We want that step here, then those can't step there if they want to commit to it. But this is our kill spot, this is our stop spot. Put that back in there. Put this up towards the top. Oh, on. So you're getting all wild here. Get your cat and lose my mind. Put this one more towards the top. I put the bait back in. Put a dab of bobcat gland up towards the top. Quit some urine on this side, a little urine on this side. Keep them guessing. And again, I'm gonna put the feathers right here in the front. Not all over, we won't go through that again. We already, we already know the reason behind it.
And that'd be it. Pin perfect. When you're making sets like this, what you want to do is if you're standing up six foot tall, five nine, whatever you are, say 20 feet tall, if you had a couple drinks, that set is going to look different than if you're an animal down on all fours. Get down and look and see how them animals, how that set's going to look to them. What are they going to see from their height distance? You know, um, even on your knees, I mean, that cat isn't standing this tall generally he's creep he's pu pushing down looking rubbernecking back here rubbernecking you know look up in there and see what he's going to see that will entice him to pop up into that set if you start looking at some of these sets from their eye level you're going to start seeing some of the problems oh, well, number one while you're not catching something number two um you know why your approach is wrong on the animals why they're not approaching the set correctly you know, and you're going to find other things. But, you know, get down and look at your set from their level. I